Once you enter in all your information in the setup and you go to the layout page, this is where you start entering the layout for the wire span structures. The, this is pretty straightforward for most of the designs with the only one that's kind of tricky is the drop box span. Uh, but this one is a regular box span. You enter the lengths here of, of each of the wires from face of pole to face of pole. The, there's always a little diagram here to show you what the uh, what links it's calling for and then you want to uh, enter the angle between the wires uh, that's shown. You can always if you want help uh, hover over one of the help icons here and although it's not showing up on this particular uh, there it is. Atta the angle is attached between the wires at the designated pole. Uh, this will be helpful on the Dropbox design which I'm going to go to next and I'll just create a new Dropbox design. And I'll generate that. And then I'll go to layout. And the critical uh, key with this is that these lengths are from pole A to pole B. And they count the messenger wire the length along the straight section and back up the messenger wire to, to the, uh, the face of pole B. This is explained in the icon uh, uh, by the length, the help icon by the length section. Uh, the angle is the angle in this section, just like on a regular box. And then the messenger length is just this length. And what that pretty much does is help you later on in the wire span input section know where the bull ring is on each one of these and helps you uh, navigate and be able to place your attachments.